The uh, ransom note has arrived. The House Freedom Caucus published a letter uh, yesterday, yesterday afternoon, threatening a government shutdown. Uh, keep in mind, the government runs out of money. Part, half the government runs out of money on March 1st. You know, what's that, a week and a half from now, more or less? About a week from now? And the other half of the government runs out of money on March 8th, which is two weeks from now. So now the Freedom Caucus, the, I call them the Cokehead Caucus, because they, you know, the, for so many years have, have lived on money from the Koch brothers. Um, the, now the, the Freedom Caucus is saying, uh, no, no, we're going to let the government shut down unless you give us the following. We want a ban on gender-affirming care nationwide. We want an end to all transgender participation in sports nationwide. We want an end to all programs that, in, that uh, uh, include diversity, uh, well, DEI, all those DEI programs. And, they want, and, and we want Planned Parenthood completely defunded. It's incredible. I mean, this is, they're, they're, they're willing to take our country down over this small set of excuses that have to do with hating on, on queer people, basically, hating on the LGBTQ community, particularly the trans community. The trans community are the, the main victims of these things, just like the trans community was the main victim of Hitler's first attack. The first, uh, you know, weeks after he became chancellor, the first thing he did was go after the trans community. He, he, he went after the trans community before he went after Jews, before he went after gypsies, before he even went after communists. Republicans state that unless these policies are included, quote, the probability that the appropriations bill will be supported by even a majority of Republicans is low. Which means that if, if um, Moscow Mike wants to get these, this legislation through the House, he's going to have to do it with, with help from the Democrats which means that Marjorie Taylor Greene will call for him to be expelled. On the other hand, if, you know, if they can get their, if they can shut the government down for a couple of weeks, they might be able to enforce a recession. Sean noticed the price of gas went up 20 cents a gallon overnight last night. And I'm like, are these guys getting ready for war or are they getting ready for the election? You'll, you'll notice that the big oil companies in the United States you know, the largest refinery in the, in the United States now is owned by Saudi Arabia, the largest gas refinery. And so, uh, you know, and the Saudis hate, hate Democrats and love Republicans. And, you know, because they, they're authoritarians. They don't believe in democracy either. And, and of course, Russia. Uh, you know, Russia doesn't control our oil supply, but they're, they're big players internationally. So uh, are they, you know, and if you look back at the last three or four elections, every time there's an election coming up, when there's a Democrat in office, the oil companies start cutting back on their, on their refining, which causes the price of gasoline to go up. And I'm predicting we're gonna see $5 a gallon gas by November. And I think it's started. But anyhow, this is, it's all part of the same thing. Um, these uh, insurance coverage uh, for trans people, restrictions on DEI, even the defunding of children's hospitals is in, in their crosshairs. These provisions are found in funding bills for the Food and Drug Administration, the Department of Health and Human Services, the military, and the Department of Veterans Affairs, among others. Uh, Representative Dan, Dan Crenshaw said that the uh, bills are, quote, the hill we will die on. He hates, he hates trans people that much. In 2023, Republicans moved to, uh, refused to move forward with any other bills unless they could pass a ban on gender-affirming care. That was a three-month-long filibuster. It's one of the reasons nothing has gotten done in the year and a half that, that Republicans have controlled the House of Representatives. Will Democrats go along with this? Well, so far they're saying, no, we're not going to compromise. Ain't gonna happen. 